what's up guys? It's Mike Chan with sixpackshortcuts.com. So today I'm gonna to be showing you all some awesome push-up variations to work on your chest at home. So I wrote on the board here, we have about three different push-up variations and they're each, they each do a little bit different. So I'm gonna go through it with you really quick. So the standard push-up is basically to where your arms are about shoulder width. So you're not very wide and you're not very close. Just medium, so this way you can go build overall chest. You're not really trying to pinpoint any area. When you go wide, you want to go at least about two up to about four inches wider than where your hand placement is on the standard push-up. So this way it'll go ahead and bring in a lot more of your outer part of your chest and a little bit less on your triceps. So another one that I started doing that's actually really good I wanted to share with y'all is doing a wide push-up with your hands pointing outwards. And that one I felt really emphasizes your chest and takes the stress off your shoulders more so this way you can more, do more chest in that, in that, uh, that push-up. And close grip with your elbows in so this way you work a little bit more triceps, a little more shoulders, and a little different part of your chest. Hopping is gonna be a really, a really different one. Hopping, you're actually, it's kinda like doing a clapping push-up except you're not going all the way down, you're gonna hop. And that actually works on building your, building your muscles to get, to get used to doing impact. Because all the time when you do push-ups, imagine that your hand is on the ground and you're just going like this. But when you're hopping, you're doing this. So this way, it's a little different because your muscles respond differently when it has that type of impact versus a constant pressure. So last one is alligator crawls. Uh, some people call them like bear crawls. And uh, what that is, is basically doing a push-up with your legs coming to the side, and I'll show you just a sec. That one also works your, works your chest in a different way because you have one hand in front and the other one on the back, and also you engage a lot of core because your hands are gonna, your feet's gonna be connecting like this. So, the reps are right here. Now, I put about 15 reps per each push-up, but kinda up to you, and you may wanna start off at 10 on each push-up, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna do, let's say in this case, 15 reps, Non-stop, you're gonna go right into the next one, 15, right into the next one, 15, and just go all the way down the row, and then afterwards, you're gonna rest a minute, or a little longer if you need to, get a drink of water, and then repeat. And we're gonna go for three rounds total. So, stick, start off with 15, see how you like it. You may need to go up to 20, you may, may need to scale down to like 10, whatever you feel comfortable with. The ultimate goal in your reps, and to figure out exactly how many reps for each push-up is good for you, will really kind of depend on if you're able to finish it. <laughs> so I've done, I've done a lot of different push-ups and I haven't exactly came up with a rep range that I think will be good. So this will be my first time actually doing six of these variations. A lot of times I'll pick about three, sometimes up to about four. But doing six variations is gonna feel a little different. So we're gonna see how we like it and uh, go from there. Three rounds total and uh, let's get started. So start off with our standard. Okay, let's do 15 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so let's go to wide. So you see where my hands are right here, right? Right under my shoulders. So I'm gonna go wide about right here. And let's do 15 again. more four five starting to feel the burn already 15 might be a lot we'll see all right so you see my hands right here right so from here you're gonna point your hands outwards so not all the way here but about 45 degrees pointing it this way same position and you should feel the difference like right away I can feel a difference right now less on my shoulders a lot more on my chest one That's starting to burn now. Okay, next variation, we're gonna go with close. So you're close, you wanna go probably about anywhere from about two inches to three inches closer than your standard. So my standard's about right here based on my shoulders. So I wanna be about right here. Keep your elbows tucked in. So you don't wanna flare your elbows out like that. 
You don't want to do this. You want to keep them tucked in, elbows pointing back, and come down like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ooh, fifteen. Woo! That was getting tough now. Alright, next, we got hopping. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Hopping push-ups. So you're back in the standard placement on your hands. So you come down a little bit and come back up and hop up. Now notice how my feet and my hands are gonna pop up off the ground at the same time. I'm gonna turn to the side. This way y'all guys can get a good angle on this. All right. Hopping push-ups are kind of, they're a little tough. Okay. So one. Really tough because you gotta explode, you know. But it's, I think it's a little easier than doing clapping push-ups because you gotta have a full range of motion. But it's still pretty tough because you're exploding every one of them. And right now my chest is feeling pumped and tired. All right. So next one is alligator cross. So what you want to do? Start off in a regular push-up position. So you're gonna go ahead and put your right your right hand forward and your left foot, your knee is gonna go to your elbow like that. And then you're gonna come down and push up. Okay, so from here, left hand, bam, right there. Right knee, boom. In the beginning, it's kind of weird because you're like trying to mess up the coordination and be, mess up your feet, mess up your hands and you know, don't worry about it, you'll get used to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 15 of those. And once you get used to it, it'll actually look like, you know, like an alligator. In the beginning, you might just look kind of retarded because you're, you know, looking like you don't know what you're doing and stuff. But practice a little bit and you'll get it good. So there goes one round, rest a minute, and go to round two. Get some drink of water. I'm kind of debating right now if I want to rest that one minute, but I probably should, depending on how hard I'm breathing. <laughs> so it's very tough, especially because that's 90 push-ups. And because they're all in like different variations, so it makes it a little, even a little tougher sometimes. Whew. All right, so here we go, round two. I don't know if that was one minute, but we're gonna start anyways. Okay. I'm totally regretting the 15 reps right now. One, two, three, four, oh, five. All right. So what I'm finding right now is first round at 15 reps, it's decent, at least for me. So final good rep range for that first round. This second round it is different. <laughs> this second one is kicking my butt. I don't think I can finish 15 on all of them, but you know what? Just do the best you can. If you only get 10, screw it, get 10. So let's keep going. If you gotta rest a little bit, you know, do so, but try not to rest too much. So far, so good. I still stick to that 15. So, next one, let's go to that close grip. Don't forget, keep your elbows in. Alright. Burn, 
baby. If you give out and your face hits the floor, it's okay, just as long as no one's watching. <laughs> Push-ups again. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo. Okay. Can't do any more of this hopping. I will hit the ground. If I do any more. I put the last one, Trimble. Whew. Those hopping ones are tough. Okay, next. How to get across. Okay, start back here. That was 12. And that's <laughs> one more round. Okay. So rest your minute again. All right. That's coming off. This is getting serious. <laughs> okay, let's do this. All right, last round. Let's give it all we got. Give it all you got on this last round. As many reps, as, as close to getting as many reps as you can. So if I'm right now, there's no way I could have got 15. All right, let's go to wide. And here's the, here's the thing, guys. It doesn't matter if you can get those numbers, the 15 reps on every set. It only matters that you're working the muscle. Repetition, all that stuff doesn't matter so much. If you're working the muscle in the right way, pushing it all the way to the limits. That's what's gonna make your muscles grow. And that's what's gonna make your muscles stronger. It's not that you did three sets of this or four sets of that. Some people, you read about different type of training techniques, do one set and they grow. Some people do like seven, eight sets. It all depends on how you stimulate the actual muscle that you're working on. That's the only thing that's important. Push-ups. Hoppy push-ups, I say 
five, and I'm gonna hit the ground. Bet you a hundred bucks. No. <laughs> just kidding. All right, let's see. Actually, I'm not kidding. That just might be it. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. All right. What was that, seven, eight? Okay, seven. All right. Last one, alligator cross. So, I think that was like five. All right, so there goes your chest workout for the day. Six push-up variations. They're all really good. Man, after you're done with it, your chest is gonna feel great. You're gonna feel this insane pump. And three rounds is good to start off with. Uh, if you really wanna challenge yourself, do more rounds. So, do more rounds. If I was gonna do a fourth round right now, the rep range will probably be even lower than that third round, and it's okay, because remember, it doesn't matter on how many repetitions you really do, because repetitions doesn't mean anything. Only the way you work your muscles do. So even if you only do five reps on the next round, or any on all of them, if you can do that and work it, it will work your muscles that much more. So, hope you like this video. Leave comments below. Tell me what other videos y'all like to see, and also tell me, how many rounds you did and how many repetitions you did. And let's get a challenge going. Let's see who can, who's master of those push-ups. So if you want more videos on nutrition, workout, how to get lean and ripped, check out the website, sixpackshortcuts.com. And uh, see y'all guys next time. Later.